guys, welcome to the 173rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our address book project. And basically, what we're going to be doing is coding for the save changes button. And we're also going to begin coding to write the XML file that will actually uh, hold all of uh, the data or all the people. So, the first thing that we're just going to want to do here is double click on the save changes button. And basically, we're just going to want to rewrite all of this information right here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is access the person um, that you're editing. So we're going to say um, people, and then the index of the person that you're trying to edit would be the same index of the selected item in this list view. So we can just say list view one dot selected items, and then we're just going to put a zero in here since you can only select one item at a time. And then we're just going to want to get the index of that selected item. And now we're going to say that person's name equals whatever text is in text box one since um, the text in text box one will be the person's name. All right, and then we're just going to want to do this for all the other um, properties in the person class. So we're just going to paste here a few times, and we're going to say um, their email address is text box two's text. Then we're going to say um, their street address is text box three's text, and finally the additional notes is text box four's text, and then this would be text box. All right, so additional notes, and that would be text box for text. All right, the last thing that we have to write is their birthday. So we're just going to say um, people right here. So I'm just going to paste one more time and say that their birthday is equal to date time picker one's value. And date time picker one is this right here. All right, so now let's just go ahead and make sure that this works. So if we add a person right here, Adam, email address, whatever, gmail.com, street address, whatever, on main street, and birthday doesn't matter, additional notes, none, oops, none, add a contact. Now if we add another one, add this contact. Now if we go back and edit Adam, let's change the name to Bob. Change the street address to something on River Run. I don't know. And then save the changes. Now, if we go back to Adam, we see that the full name is changed to Bob and the street address is changed to River Run. However, it didn't change it in the list view. So we're going to, we're going to want to change the text in the list view as well. So let's go back here and say list view ones um, selected item. And we can only have zero or one item selected, so we're going to put zero in there. And then we're going to want to say the text of that item is equal to text box one's text, which is where you'll be changing the name. All right, so let's just go ahead and debug and make sure that this works. So we just add Adam, a bunch of stuff, add a contact, another one, add this contact. Now if we change this person's name to like Bob or something, save the changes, we see it changed in the list view as well. All right, so now what we're going to begin doing is basically writing the XML file. So since we already have the XML file created, we don't have to rewrite it again. So now all we have to do is access this file and edit it. All right, and we're going to have it do that whenever you uh, close the application. So we're going to want to select on the application right here, go over to events, and go down to um, form closing. All right, and then whenever the form's closing, we're just going to want to write all the people into an XML file. So we're just going to want to say using system.xml since we um, haven't done that yet. So we're going to say using system.xml. And now we're just going to want to go down here and create a new XML document to write in an existing XML file since we already created it up here whenever you load the form. So we're going to say XML document xdoc equals a new XML document and then we're just going to want to load that XML document that we created when the form uh, loads. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this for the, for the uh, default path. So I'm just going to do that and then we're going to say xdoc dot uh, load the XML document and then we're just going to want to uh, provide the rest of the path to the XML document. So I'm just going to go ahead. And, oops. So let me go ahead and copy this right here, and say path plus, and then the rest of the path right there. All right. And now we have um, this XML document already set to 
um, right inside of it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to finish up uh, writing all the people into that XML document. So, see you guys.